Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What would there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory. Will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more, and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church proposed that we celebrate the memorial of St. Benedict, proclaimed by St. Paul VI as patron saint of Europe. Benedict, coming from a noble family, is recognized as the founder of Western monasticism. At a very young age, he was sent to Rome to continue his studies, but he was deeply disturbed by the moral decay and chaos he observed in the city. We must consider that the empire had barely fallen a few years prior. This young man decided to abandon his studies and privilege to become a hermit. St. Benedict took refuge in the Suviaco region on a mountain on a rock, where he stayed for several years. The first three years he spent in prayer, work, and penance. The great secret of St. Benedict is ora et labora, meaning pray and work. The Catechism, commenting on this phrase, says, quote, Pray as if everything depended on God, and work as if everything depended on you. Pray and work. Dear brothers and sisters, in our current world, we face a society that self-destructs. Why? Because it is a world that lives without God, doing everything possible to leave God out of their lives. Humanity has a dormant conscience. As Christians, we must strive to build our conscience, allowing ourselves to be enlightened by the grace of God to collaborate in evangelization, and to let go of everything that harmed us and goes against what our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us. St. Benedict's great legacy is the rule he wrote. This rule used and is still used as a foundation for monastic life, emphasizing the balance between prayer and work and community life. The rule promoted values such as humility, obedience, and hospitality, and became a model for many other religious orders. Another significant contribution to the monasteries besides the rule was the preservation of knowledge. Monasteries became centers of learning and preservation of knowledge during the Middle Age. Monks copy ancient manuscripts, contributing to the conservation of classic and religious texts that will otherwise have been lost. Monasteries were also centers of agriculture and economic development. The monks introduced new cultivation techniques, and land management, which improved production and helped develop local communities. The Benedict monastic life promoted a culture of stability, peace, and unity in the turbulent times. Benedictine spirituality centered on seeking God through community life and work had a lasting impact on the Western Christian culture. Let us ask St. Benedict 
to intercede for us so that we may respond to God's call. As the gospel we have read, and everyone who has left house or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my sake will receive a hundred times as much more and inherit eternal life.